Okay, so One OS latest update is here. Of course, we don't know One OS officially supporting Redmi Note 9 Pro only Cortana. Also, that is just Android version 10 maybe and maybe Android 11 or maybe it's just MIUI 12. But if you're looking to install the latest MIUI 12.6, basically you can install this on any of your device like Redmi Note 9 Pro. Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. It's available as a port room for all of these devices and installation steps and everything I already gave a guide below. You can check it out also alongside with the installation, the download file alongside with the link. The thing is it's actually quite smooth, it's looking quite good. But is it really good enough to use as a daily driver? We're just going to talk about this build right now in this video. As you can see this is the one os ui it has almost same features from one os i just want to let you know about this thing that this is now available for all of these four devices which it was not available but if you don't know one os has this kind of feature the new volume panel which includes four instead of three volume sliders and you can use them on a device which looks a little bit better and unique also if we talk about the stability the volume panel seems to be quite stable it got any kind of bug did got any kind of issues if you move on to the wallpaper section first of all if you're looking to install wallpapers yes it comes with the super wallpapers pre-installed and they didn't remove the super wallpapers it's a little bit laggy of course it's not recommended to use on your device and also if you're looking for some other wallpapers some cool new one os wallpapers are already present air pre-installed also here you have some other interesting wallpapers the one which i have applied on my device this one is also now included here one os one os i haven't read the new update on my other devices like redmi note 8 and redmi note 9 redmi actually redmi note 8 yes that was available for redmi note 8 the weekly beta is available for the redmi note 8 i haven't tried that so that's why i don't know which are the features included here but it is actually quite good one of features are present for you if you move on to the library section you might find some online wallpapers for you where you can download these wallpapers on your device it's quite easy to download you might not get any kind of extra ads also it doesn't have those kind of interesting bloatware apps all those bloatware apps are removed from here if you want to apply any kind of wallpaper you might not get any kind of issues while installing it comes with a very good kind of themes it is actually a Chinese theme store. So yes, Chinese themes available available here and there. As is a Chinese theme store, Chinese theme store always let you import third party themes on your device. If you're looking to install some third party themes, you can just go, go to the theme section. I have tried to import this third party theme, which was imported successfully. I tried and it was applied successfully. Click on import option, go to your storage file where you have downloaded that MTZ file move on to that location click that click on ok the theme will be imported on your device and you might not get any kind of errors while importing and even after applying this file on your device so these are some cool and interesting features which you get here the review of this theme is also coming very soon on our channel so make sure to subscribe that theme components includes the lock style series bar icons messaging etc etc which you get in other devices also now if you talk about the home settings here like the default launcher which options you get in the default launcher home screen has the option of choosing app drawer and other options google discover or app vault home screen layout includes more than two options for you four by six up to six by seven i think and in icon section you can customize the icon pack according to your preference you can choose icon size also arrange items in recents the latest option is also present for you these are some good things about this build which we are talking about also and yes if you are looking for performance based issues honestly I didn't like it much it is laggy and yes if you are looking to install this as a daily driver I will not recommend you because we have many other custom rooms even though MIUI base are quite fast already available for you but here this one is actually not that fast so it's not recommended for you if you're looking to install some custom room based on performance if you're looking to install some apps as you can see it only has these kind of apps pre-installed 20 or 22 maybe these are only apps which you get here and also going on to the camera section 
The thing is, I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is Cortana, and it comes with the 64 megapixel of support, which is actually not 64 megapixel, it's only 48 megapixel, as you can see. It also comes with a new UI, some other extra features, which you can apply on a device if you want to. 64 megapixel, if you click here, click and try to click any picture from here. Move on to your gallery where you have clicked the picture. So simply move on to your details, for example, go mode details here you can see the resolution the file info is actually 8 mb i just noticed this for the first time it's showing as 48 megapixel it's showing as 64 megapixel but the picture quality is actually 48 megapixel tried other options the thing it is actually working perfectly fine let me just try once again and let's see how many features which we get here click on edit option we have all those new features filters sky filters are available for you for example if you want to try any filter from here click here it will automatically download the latest filter available for you and after this as you can see the picture will be edited and MIUI gallery always has some cool and interesting features if you don't know MIUI gallery is actually quite good and you can install this MIUI gallery on other devices also if you don't know how to install that MIUI gallery make sure to explore my channel you will find that video I made a video that how you can install the MIUI gallery on other of your devices this is actually quite good you just need a magisk module for that this is how we can simply use this we set video wallpaper set as wallpaper slideshow details this is the video which is compressed now and you can also edit the videos and video editing includes some cool features by the way like filters captions soundtracks and you can try out a lot of things here this this is actually quite good new gallery of course comes with many cool kind of options available for you this is why i just wanted to let you know and these are the things you get in the default camera section if you want to install the speed camera seems to be working and working perfectly fine i didn't got any kind of issues while using camera we also have the oneplus actually one os space available here which includes some extra options for example some extra apps which you can install on your device which shouldn't take much time to install which is something different i don't use on my device by the way and as i previously mentioned you i don't recommend you to use this build on a device if you're looking for some performance based custom room also, if you move on to the frame rate section in screen recorder, you don't get any kind of 60 FPS or 90 FPS, only have the default settings available for you like 30 FPS, 24, etc. Other options are same here. Moving on to the settings option, the things are actually same like the wallpaper and personalization section, which includes the fonts customizations, icon customization, super wallpapers, and some other extra options for you. AOD option is present but it's not working and if you want AOD or always on display on your device the thing is the file is available for you and you can give it a try always on display is always not recommended in the display section font settings of course sound and vibration includes the latest sound assistant because it's android version 11 notifications control center notification shade notification effects control center style all the new features all like setting features are present here and you can give it a try if you want to awareness protection battery stats are new and yes looks quite good last but not the least additional settings and special features also let me just tell you one more thing if you move back and go to special features you will find the edge controls which is definitely not working but the feature is present for you and you can give a feel you can get a feel after using this other things are actually same light mode miui lab etc special features also includes one way settings which is of no use this is all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye Like I'm floating through the air